Welcome back to the shop. In the last two blasting videos, you saw me demonstrate a low pressure, two stage blasting process, and we obtained really nice results. You also saw a low pressure bead blast surface refinish on that aluminum part. There's a few things I'd like to add that I didn't add in those past videos. One, low pressure is really good for detail work. As a matter of fact, you could go all the way down to 5 PSI if needed and full lean and do some real detail work on some delicate parts. The glass abrasive and glass beads do not embed themselves in the base material. Again, the abrasive glass number 75 that I used is a cleaner. It's got sharp edges and it cleans. The bead is a little ball and I used like a medium fine number seven. You could actually go down to a real fine uh, like number 150 and get a higher gloss finish on your parts. So the uh, finer the glass bead, the higher gloss finish you're going to obtain. And when using a bead, you're actually peening and smoothing out the surface. You're not removing material. I also wanted to mention too, uh, the cabinet gives you a broad range. So it's very versatile for different parts. You could go low pressure, uh, real lean fl uh, media flow. You can go high pressure and a real rich flow, which, which what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go to 45 PSI we're going to richen that media flow up and we're going to uh, blast this Wilton Bullet Vice that you see here in front of you. I want to address a couple questions that I got where somebody asked, is the media reusable? Yes, it is to a certain point. Think of media as like sandpaper. You can use a piece of sandpaper until it's not effective anymore. That's when you'll need to change your media out. Now a glass bead won't shatter unless you're hitting something at over 50 PSI or so. So your glass beads will last a long period of time at low pressures. Uh, the thing with glass beads though is once they're fractured, it becomes an abrasive and not a finishing media. So that's something you need to be aware of. In this demonstration video today, we're gonna to use 45 PSI, we're gonna richen the media flow, and we're gonna blast this Wilton Bullet Vice. One nice thing about higher pressures and a, and a richer flow is that you can pull that gun back further and get a wider fan and cover more area in less amount of time. If you remember back in the other two videos, we were doing low pressure, real lean flow, so I had to get in there close for like detail work. <clears throat> so let's get that cabinet loaded up. We're gonna do the two stage blast today. We're gonna use the number 75 abrasive and then we're gonna clean out the cabinet and go for the glass bead for a uh, nice semi-gloss finish on this vice.
Here's the vise after the first stage of blasting, which was number 75 glass abrasive. I'm gonna clean out the cabinet and put the number seven glass bead in it. Just finished with the number seven glass bead. I hope you enjoyed this blasting episode. Again, 45 PSI. It was a two stage blast process. Number 75 glass abrasive followed up with number seven glass bead. The metering valve was set about a quarter way open, which is almost full rich. So until next time, see ya.